Did you know Whitney Houston was the first woman to have an album debut at number one on the Billboard 200 chart with her second album, Whitney, in 1987? But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the very beginning. Whitney Houston was an American singer, actress, and producer who rose to fame in the 1980s and became one of the best-selling artists of all time. She was born on August 9, 1963, in Newark, New Jersey, and died on February 11, 2012, in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 48. Houston's mother, Sissy Houston, was a gospel singer, and her husband, Dionne Warwick, was a successful pop singer. Whitney began singing in the church choir at a young age and was later discovered by Clive Davis, the head of Arista Records, who signed her to a recording contract in 1983. Her debut album, Whitney Houston, was released in 1985 and became an instant success, spawning hits like Saving All My Love For You and Greatest Love Of All. Houston's career continued to skyrocket through the 1980s and 1990s with hits such as I Wanna Dance With Somebody, How Will I Know, and I Will Always Love You, which became one of the best-selling singles of all time. She also starred in several successful films, including The Bodyguards in 1992 and Waiting to Exhale in 1995. Despite her enormous success, Houston's personal life was marked by turmoil and controversy. She married singer Bobby Brown in 1992 and had a daughter with him, Bobby Christina Brown, in 1993. The couple's tumultuous relationship was frequently in the tabloids, and Houston's struggles with substance abuse and addiction were well documented. Houston's voice was widely regarded as one of the greatest of all time, and she was known for her powerful, soulful performances. She won numerous awards throughout her career, including six Grammy Awards, 22 American Music Awards, and two Emmy Awards. She also sold over 200 million records worldwide, making her one of the best-selling artists of all time. Houston's personal struggles eventually took their toll on her career and health. She struggled with drug addiction for many years, and her once powerful voice began to show signs of wear and tear. In 2009, she embarked on a comeback tour, but her performances were plagued by technical difficulties and poor reviews. Houston was found dead in her hotel room in Beverly Hills on February 11, 2012. Her death was ruled an accidental drowning with heart disease and cocaine use listed as contributing factors. Her passing was met with an outpouring of grief from fans and fellow musicians who paid tribute to her incredible talent and her legacy as one of the greatest singers of all time. Overall, Whitney Houston was a legendary singer and actress who captured the hearts of millions with her powerful voice and soulful performances. Despite her personal struggles and tragic death, her music continues to inspire and entertain people around the world. Her legacy as one of the best-selling music artists of all time is a testament to her incredible talent and the lasting impact she had on the music industry and the world. Thanks for watching The Human Catalog. We hope you enjoyed learning about the life and legacy of Whitney Houston. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more summaries of interesting people and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Let us know in the comments which person you'd like us to cover next. See you in the next episode as we continue to explore the human catalog.